Hi everyone, I'm here today with my empties video. This is my big old empties bin from 31. And um, yeah, I have a ton of empty products. Clarification, just because they're in this empties video did not mean that I started them and finished them in the same month. Some of these products have been products I've had from my old house, which I moved out of in like February, so that's like a long time ago. Some are products that were used in a one month period. Some are products I've been, work been working on for a really long time. So just because they're in an empties video does not mean they were finished like in this month, if that makes sense. I think some people get confused because they're like, how the heck do you use so much in one month? And it's not start to finish in one month, it's just products I've been working on for a long time. And of course some are like, products that were used in a month's period. Does that make sense? I think so. Let's get started. First, I have a bunch of shampoo and conditioners in here. Uh, Suave Moroccan, this is the Shine. I love this. I actually went and bought the big old ones because I go through these so much. I love, love, love the Moroccan. It's my favorite. Continue to repurchase. Inexpensive. It makes my hair shiny, smooth, soft. Love it. Amazing. I like it better than a lot of high-end shampoos. So the Moroccan Infusion, yes. I continue to repurchase. This I've had since my old house. This is the Enjoy uh, Sulfate Free Hydrating Shampoo and the Hydrating Conditioner. I loved the conditioner. Um, it was very moisturizing, smells nice. The Sulfate Free Shampoo is very weird. It's very watery and it's not really good. It smells like um, green apple, but it's very, it was very watery. So it was like slipping out of my hand. So the, te the texture of it was a little difficult because it literally felt like I was like trying to put water on my hair. But it did a nice job. Um, it has a cleanse sensor in it, uh, pH 4.5 through 5.5, locks in hair color, um, smooth and silky hair, eliminates frizz, moisturizes without buildup, and then the conditioner is creates smoothness, softness, and shine, eliminates frizz and detangles. So I did like them. Uh, preferred the conditioner over the shampoo. It's the only Enjoy products I've ever tried. Um, I don't know if I'd repurchase though, but I did enjoy them. <laughs> This is the Cabela Anti-Aging Organic Rejuvenating Mask. I did not like this at all. There's still some in here. It's very thick. It's very hard to get out. It has a pump, but the texture of this is so thick, like a thick paste. It, there's no way it comes out of this a hole. So the packaging, awful. The smell, I hate the smell of it. I ended up trying to use this to shave my legs, but it's too thick for that. So I don't love this. It's free of parabens and sulfates and all of that, but yeah, not a win for me, and it's way too difficult to try to get out. Did not like that at all. Pink Chiffon Body Lotion. I love the scent of this. I don't like the body lotion. I prefer the body, triple moisture body cream. This one smells like, oh, it doesn't say on the little ones. Um, but I like this. I like the Pink Chiffon. Um, Forever Red, the triple moisture body cream. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. See, it's like empty. It looked all puffed up there. This one, Fiery Pomegranate, Rare French Peach. Luminous Apple, Red Peony, Night Marigold, Red Osmanthus, um, Rich Vanilla Rum, Velvety Marshmallow, and Oak Wood. Love, love, love the Forever Red. So I definitely repurchased that. Skin Renew from Dove. I love it. I love the Dove Clinical Protection. It's like one of my favorite. When I was in um, Portland, I actually bought some boy deodorant. I used to wear boy deodorant way back in the day. So I got this Old Spice one, which sounds weird because Old Spice is usually pretty manly. But there's one scent. I'll have to look it up. It smells bomb diggity because sometimes girl perfumes I find are a little bit too powdery smelling or they're too strong that they kind of interfere with your um, perfume. So I tried to boy one. I'll let you know what I think of it. But I like this one, the Skin Renew. It, it just has a fresh, like, well, kind of powdery scent. Sephora Supreme Cleansing Oil. I've heard that this is discontinued. Please tell me that's not so. Um, I can't find it online and my Sephora and my JCPenney's doesn't carry it. I love this, it's amazing, I like it better than the MAC one. I recently bought the Bosha one, so I'm trying that one. Um, and so far I like it, but this one has been my favorite and the price point is amazing on it. So I love that, if you can repurchase it, if I can repurchase it, I totally will. Um, here's a couple tanning mitts that got destroyed. Oh, I have a lot of tanning mitts, three of them. Uh, can you tell I've been self tanning? Yeah, a Vita Liberita one, which these fall apart super easy. I don't know what these other ones are, probably the San Tropez ones, but tanning mitts. I go through those quickly. Um, Sun Labs, self tanning lotion, ultra dark instant tint in dark. I love, love this tanner. It's one of my favorites. I go through these like crazy. I order them on Amazon. Really, really love them. So definitely have repurchased. That's probably my fourth or fifth one I've gone through. Um, vanilla cream brulee, delicious body lotion from Hemp's. I like this. I got it at TJ Maxx for six bucks and 
It smells like vanilla creme brulee. <clears throat> Did I say cream brulee? Creme brulee. I knew that sounded weird. I like this um, hemp lotion. I've gone through quite a few of these. They all smell like, you know, delicious treats. Fashion uh, Volept Spray Volume Building Spray Gel. I love this. I use this as my volumizer. You shake it up, spray it into your roots, gives you some nice volume. Um, I bought it at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I actually have a backup of this. I really do like it a lot. Here's some Facial Radiance Pads, Exfoliate, Tone, and Brighten from First Aid Beauty. They were just toner pads. Loved this for traveling. Uh, they worked great. They smell kind of like gingerbread, which I loved. Uh, so I would definitely repurchase these. I love them for traveling because then you have to take a toner and cotton pads. So yes, really, really like those. Kirkland Wipes. Love these. They're my favorite. Get them at Costco. And I actually have a big box full of more. So yes, I would repurchase those. Tarte Maracuja C Brightening Eye Treatment. This was a little sample size. I liked this. I had it in my travel bag and it's very moisturizing. I love the texture of it. It's a little bit of a thicker texture, not so much lotion-y. It's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like a paste, um, but I really liked it a lot. So I would definitely consider purchasing a full size when I'm done with the moisturizer I'm using now. Another tanner, this is Zen Tan Weekly Self Tan Moroccan Tan in medium. I love this. The medium gives you a really, really dark tan right away, but then a lot of it washes off. So immediately if you put this on, you will be brown, like brown, brown, like a crazy color brown, um, which is nice. It smells nice too, but let's just be real. It's a little too brown, but then when you wash it off, it's nice. Yo mamacita. Okay, I love you, bye. Okay, that was my mama. It's a 10 miracle leave-in product. I love this. I have another one that I'm working on right now. It's like my everyday when I wash my hair or every time I wash my hair. Conditioner, love it. I've repurchased it many times, love it. This Oahu Coconut Sunset Shower Gel. I love the scent of this. I actually have the lotion too. Smells delightful. It is Coconut Blossom, Bergamot, Pink Tiger Lily, Hawaiian Monai, Monai, and Molten Amber. Love it. Delicious. I've been tanning a lot, can you tell? The Vita Liberita, this is their mousse in dark. I love their mousse a lot. I'm not crazy about the lotion, but the mousse I really like. This, I just feel like I used it so quickly. I used it probably like every other day, every two days. Um, and then I felt like it was gone like in a very short amount of time. So I really love this. I just feel like it goes by really quick and it's super expensive. So that's the only downside. Uh, Charity Pot Lotion. I love, 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 love Charity Pot. It's chocolatey. It's my favorite lotion from, um, from Lush. And I think 100% of the proceeds go to charity. So love this. I'm gonna save this because I think if you take these back, you get a free, fresh face mask. So I'm gonna do that. Comb Exfoliate, little body exfoliator. I really like this. It's very, um, is it? Yeah, very like minty smelling, great exfoliator in the shower. Really like this, probably wouldn't pay full price because I don't know what it costs. This was like a gift of purchase, but I did really like this. If you're looking for a high-end exfoliator, that one was really, really nice. Razors, these are the Bic Flex 4. I like men's razors over women's razors for shaving. They're less expensive and I think they do a better job. So I do like these, the Flex 4. Um, a candle, the Cheers to Capri Lemon Cello. Love this, I love lemon candles in my in my kitchen i just think it's like the best kitchen scent ever until we get into fall and then everything smells like a bakery in my house the peter thomas roth laser free resurfacer this is the serum absolutely love this i saw a huge 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 change in my skin when i use this so i'm definitely thinking about purchasing the full size <clears throat> the full size and then i also have the night moisturizer which i really like too but i love this if you've tried any peter thomas roth of their like laser free um, line, let me know what your thoughts are because I really like okay. it. The rest is makeup. My Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast Cover Girl. This one is gone. It's like so dried out now. I can hardly coat my lashes with it. It has the rubber bristle on one side. It has the natural bristle on the other. Great mascara. This is not waterproof and this is a hard mascara to get off. I mean, it takes my Cleansing oil plus eye makeup remover to get it off. That's the only downside and it's not even waterproof. So some of you might enjoy that, but I just don't like how hard it is to get off for being a non-waterproof mascara. But I love the formula so, so much. So I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I have some liners here. Um, if you've watched my last Friday favorites, I talked about the Jordana Fabu liners. There's so many that I have that are not black. They're like charcoal gray or they're very stiff. So I'm tossing all my Jordana Fabu liners 
because I can't get them to work. They're too stiff, they hurt my eye, they're not black. I don't know if they've changed the formula or what, uh, but there's so many that I bought recently and it's just such a bummer because this used to be my favorite drugstore liner. So I'm tossing these, won't be repurchasing them. I have an Essence Stay No Matter What liner that I got a while ago. The tip is okay on it, but again, I don't find it super black. It's a little bit more of a gray one. I know they're inexpensive, um, so I'm tossing that one because it just, it's, it's not black. I don't want gray liner, I want black, so gotta say goodbye. Um, I have a MAC Eyebrow Pencil and Spiked. I love this, um, it's gone. These seem to go really fast too. Um, so I'm going to back to, my, ooh, I'm going to back to MAC this. This is a Jordana, another Jordana one in bold fat. It's like a fat felt tip. I cannot get this sucker to work for me. This thing is humongous. Like if you just want to like cover your whole eyelid with a black marker, this is a good option. Other than that, there's no really good use for it. So uh, toss in that. Okay, Urban Decay Original Eye Shadow Primer. I have the full size in this. I'm not a big Urban Decay primer fan. I don't know, There's just, I just don't love it. Um, but I did use the sample, I have full sizes, so I won't be purchasing them. And they're just honestly not my favorite primer. Um, I finished Urban Decay Black Velvet. You guys know I love this so much. It's so black, it stays in my waterline. Love it so much, so I'm sad that it's gone. But this was a fantastic liner. Um, once I go through a few more liners, I would definitely consider purchasing that one because it is black, it stays in my waterline, it's amazing, I really like it. Urban Decay Powder in Naked Medium. This, I feel, I feel like I just trucked through this. Um, I think it's because it's so soft and finely milled. Like every time you dip your brush in it, there's a lot of kickback. So I think there's a lot of wasted product because it is so soft, but it's a great powder. Very, very finely milled, smooth on the skin. Absolutely beautiful. Again, this was in medium. I have um, light medium and light. So, um, and then I have the loose version. So I'm going to crack into the loose version here after I finish up some other powders, but um, I do really like this and I'd highly recommend it. It was in a lot of favorites because it is really good. Finished this Mineral Power Concealer. Oh my gosh, Butterfingers. So I finished a concealer. This is the Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer in Fair. I liked this. Um, it For a drugstore concealer, it was okay. I don't like it more than my next one if I'm gonna go drugstore. It's, um, it tends to get a little bit um, sink into fine lines under my eyes, but it's not a bad concealer. I don't know if they still have this. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it because I'm just going to go to my MAC Pro Longwear because that's my tried and true. I'm done like messing around with a bunch of different concealers. So um, it was nice. If you can still purchase it, I'd recommend it if you're looking for a drugstore one, but um, I won't be repurchasing it. And I finished these babies up. The Smashbox Studio Skin in 2.2 and 2.3. I got 2.3 back when I went to IMATS back in January. This one I got shortly before that. Um, great foundations. I have just been chugging, chugging, trucking. I've just been using the heck out of these lately because I wanted to finish them up, not because they're bad, but because I just wanted to finish up some foundations. So um, I love these. I'm sad that they're gonna be gone because they're like $40, $42 or something a piece. So it is expensive, but my skin was like starting to not enjoy this foundation as much. So I'm excited to try some new foundations that I have um, and give my skin a break of these, but great foundation if you're looking for a higher end foundation. Light on the skin, lasts all day, is hydrating but matte at the same time. Uh, I have a whole review on this. I'll show, I'll link it down below if you wanna watch it. But Smashbox Studio Skin, love it. Finish them both because I used, I mixed them. That's how I finished them both. I've been mixing them. So that's all my empties. So some makeup, we got some lots of skincare, hair care stuff. So that's my favorites. That's not my favorites. Those are my empties. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know some of the products you've been finishing up lately. And I will talk to you later. Bye.